What's up, Warriors? Dan and Man here. Today, I'm giving my take on the 2024 election and why I did not vote at all. This isn't going to be your typical Facebook boomer Trump endorsement. In fact, no Facebook boomer crap at all from any side. And I'm not here to push any party line or preach about shit. So let's get into it. Even though these glasses make me look a little bit like a boomer, I guess. They're pretty cool. First, why? I didn't vote. For me, voting feels like a way of controlling others, something that clashes with my own values. I believe in freedom, not in trying to make others live my way. Ideally, we wouldn't have to vote at all, especially not for big state politicians who act more like rulers than representatives of the actual people and freedom. Respect for Trump's libertarian side. Now, I'm not here to bash or worship Trump. I respect his no-bullshit attitude, his brash humor, and the edge he brings to politics that's so different from the typical political clones we see everywhere else. I think any Norse god would at least appreciate that rawness. I respect anyone who disagrees, and I'm not the stereotypical Trump supporter, but Trump's got that outlaw edge that sometimes feels a bit like a middle frontman, unfiltered, honest, and more libertarian than most, relatively speaking. But here's the thing, even if I thought voting was moral, Trump still got his flaws, his staff picks, some were the same deep state types he was supposed to be fighting. If you're going to be anti-establishment, you don't let the establishment your team, right? And while I respect him from a libertarian perspective, he's still just part of the political freaking game. He's not exactly an Odin-style chieftain chosen by warriors for merit. Let's be honest, Kamala and the Democrats are taking us down a road where freedoms go out the window. They talk about inclusivity and equality, but I see it as more of an illusion, a way to keep people controlled under guise of unity and quote unquote democracy. If I were forced to pick someone, it'd have to be Trump, but that's only because I see the left's ideals in general as a real threat to personal freedom, especially considering that they actually have a major agenda right now. What we really need are leaders with true metal warrior values, people who value freedom, who don't compromise, and understand the power of individual liberty. This doesn't mean they have to come from the libertarian party, which is a freaking embarrassment to actual libertarians. The Norse gods wouldn't bow down to any party. They respect warriors who stand strong alone. We need leaders with the spirit of Metallica's Don't Tread On Me, their famous anthem that really resonates, even though it's definitely not a fresh song. Um, strong, defiant, and self reliant. I think the Founding Fathers were onto something with liberty and self-defense rights inspired by ancient Germanic tribes who lived in voluntary communities respecting each other's freedom, property, and strength. Those guys influenced the foundation of what we'd call true libertarian values today. A system where freedom was the baseline, not something handed down by a stupid ass ruler. The idea of freedom like bands like Havoc or even Venom Express is part of why I'm drawn to this tradition. I'll do a video soon breaking down how this tradition connects to common law and libertarian ideals. A lot of people see democracy as freedom, but when I think of freedom, I picture voluntary communities of individualistic warriors choosing a chieftain for their merit, a leader who's earned respect not just stupid votes on a ballot box that means nothing. Democracy feels too much like handing power to the loudest voices, not the most capable. Ideally, we live in a voluntary society, or at least something closer to what the Articles of Confederation and Bill of Rights had in mind. Power would be limited, and we'd have the freedom to live like the warriors we are capable of being of. On the subject of leaders and freedom, I caught Joe Rogan's recent interviews with Trump and Elon Musk. I think a lot of us can agree it was refreshing to hear them talk openly without a filter. 
they're not perfect, but at least they're questioning things, pushing boundaries. That's the kind of energy we need more of. If this resonated with you, freaking hammer smash that like button, freaking subscribe, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think we need more leaders with that Viking spirit, true freedom, and refusal to compromise, just like heavy metal? I want to know how other metal warriors feel about this. Remember, live free and keep it metal. Ride safe. Until next time.